Another common question I get often is, how do you taste the differences in wine? They all taste the same to me. There are a couple of things I need to clarify before I answer the question. First, the question itself, how to taste the difference in wine is very general because there are major differences and minor differences. What I hear most commonly is they all taste the same and I can't tell any difference. This is a broad, cover all statement that assume your inability to taste the difference of any wines. I'm absolutely certain that this is not true. If I were to put a glass of German Riesling at 7% alcohol content, floral, peachy, peachy, citrusy, and sweet, next to a glass of California Zinfandel coming at 16.5% alcohol content, dark fruited, dense, and jammy, most people will be able to tell the difference. So the better question should be, how can I learn to taste the minor differences in wine? Now, first of all, know that this is a skill that can be trained for, not a talent someone was born with. The movies, the articles out there like to mystify the so-called super taster, making the general public believe that this is unattainable for most people. That is simply not true. This is how you can learn to taste the minor differences in wine. First, start off big. Like the example I give above, start out with wine that have major differences. It is easier to compare apples to oranges than apples to apples. So let's master the major differences before moving on to the more minor ones. Second, taste wine side by side as much as you can. Trying to compare a wine you're drinking right now to a memory of a wine from a month ago is not effective. The human memory is notoriously unreliable and the best way to develop your palate is through real-time comparison of different wines. A side note here, being able to describe what you're smelling and tasting can be challenging in the beginning. If you are a wine beginner, I will recommend you watch my previous video on 5 easy tips to help you talk confidently at your next wine tasting and start building up your wine vocabulary. I also encourage you to subscribe to my channel as I will continue to share new tips on wine tasting. Next, as your confidence build, you can now move towards more minor differences. An example of the progress might look like this. Level one, you start out by being able to tell the difference between a Cabernet Sauvignon and a Chardonnay. Level two, you move on to being able to tell the difference between a Chardonnay from USA and a Chardonnay from France. Level three, you find French Chardonnay intriguing. Now you taste it from even smaller region within France and compare it. Say the difference between a Chablis, a Merceau, and a Polini Montaché. Then level four, going even further into just one region, say Chablis. Now comparing the differences between each individual vineyard inside the Chablis. It doesn't stop at level four. You can go on to discover the differences in vintages, producers, and many countless minor differences in wine, making this a never-ending and super enjoyable journey for your palate. Finally, remember it is about the journey and the enjoyment of wine. Learning to tell the differences would help you understand your palate to a certain level, but don't feel stressed out about getting it perfect or comparing your skill and knowledge to other people. I see it happen in both professional and casual settings sometimes, and it really does suck the fun out of it. Have fun instead. That is wine are made for. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like or thumbs up button. Leave me a comment or a question below and feel free to share the video and subscribe to my channel. Drink passionately and responsibly. Cheers.